I'll see you as soon as you get through college. Why? Well, keep this card. It's very valuable. I want to see you as soon as you get through college. You have what it takes. We need your spirit in my business. I have a big future for you. Cannot fail. Don't forget it. Who are you? I didn't quite catch the name. I may not look just like you, but I have opportunity. Oh. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm very sorry. Well, I, uh, <laughs> I should say I do remember. I should certainly hope to kiss a pig if I didn't. Thank you. Now let me see. That was football, wasn't it? Or was it ice hockey? I go to everything. Football, Mr. Wigglebury. Football, of course. And I presume I promised you a job. I usually do when I get excited. Oh. But you shall have it. With me, your promise is a sacred pledge. My word is my bond. My handshake is like a certified check. My check is like a... He who loses honor loses everything. Right. We don't start people at the top, you understand. That would be too easy. We do it the American way. We give them an opportunity to work up from the bottom. What satisfaction. What a feeling of accomplishment you will have when you are able to look back from whatever rung of the ladder your uh, go get would have placed you upon and say, I, I did that. Yes. Sir. Fine. You know nothing about the advertising business at all, I presume? Well, I, uh... Good! Then you won't have anything to unlearn. You'll be able to start right in the basement, and your rise will be all the more spectacular. Every man is the architect of his own fortune. Excellent. I'm ideas. Uh, you could almost say bursting with them. But contain them. Save them. Don't squirt them all out at once. The, uh, the idea department is a little congested at the moment. It always is, for that matter. There never seems to be any shortage of, uh... Oh, but that would only depress you. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to find you a little nook in the, uh, the bookkeeping department. A regular little niche. You could almost call it a cranny. The rest will depend upon you. Well, thank you very much, but these ideas... How I, I envy you this chance you're receiving today. My... My father, unfortunately, left me the business. Oh. Just one of those things. You have no personal fortune, I hope. Well, no, sir. I, uh... Great, and probably only the clothes you stand in. Well, not exactly. I mean, this isn't my other suit. Oh, isn't it? No, sir. Well, no matter. Clothes do not make the man. On the contrary, as Shatner said to Marx, it's man who makes the clothes. You 
want to see me, Chief? Yes, I'm sorry to say I do, Harold. Oh. How long have you been with us, little boss? About 20 years, I guess. 22 years. Too long. Why, it seems like yesterday to me. I mean that I started here. Well, it was quite a few yesterdays ago. The earth has cooled considerably since you put on your first pair of sleeve protectors outside there. Yes, I, I guess it has. And so have you, Harold. So have you. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. I may be a little older, but I'm quite sure that I... I had great hopes for you, little Bart. If ever I saw a promising type of American youth full of zing, full of zest, full of zowie, it was you. I remember that day I first saw you. The bases were full. The crowd was breathless. You strutted up to the plate, swinging three bats at once. What? Oh, no, it was hockey, wasn't it? Ice hockey, of course. You got the puck, and it... It wasn't? Well, what does it matter anyway at this point? A man is only as young as his arteries, Harold. And a firm is only as young as its employees. My father fired anyone who got to be 50. Man, woman, or child, it didn't matter to him. That was his motto, the cornerstone of his success. Personally, I found the method harsh. I do not subscribe to it. With me, a man is as young as his ideas. Yes, sir. I even participated in, or at least uh, closed my eyes to, a small deception some of the older employees practiced when, because my father was extremely nearsighted, they dyed their hair and returned to work for us as their own sons. Blessed Of course they are. Uh, unfortunately for you, Harold, my own eyes are excellent. You have not only ceased to go forward, you have gone backward. You have not only stopped progressing, you have stopped thinking. You not only make the same mistakes year after year, you don't even change your apologies. You have become a bottleneck. You are the living proof of the low quality of work we demand of our employees and a bad example to the younger employees who figure that if you can get away with it, they can too, and they don't have to be any better than you are, which is zero. But there are no buts. I, uh, I have uh, bought you a Swiss watch, 18 carats. It chimes. It is uh, properly inscribed with gratitude and love and kisses uh, for 20 years, devoted service, and so forth and so forth, and I herewith present it to you. Here is also a check for uh, mm, uh, $2,946.12, which uh, represents your, your uh, savings deposited with the company. I'm surprised you haven't saved more in 20 years. I had a lot more, only it was invested in the preferred stock of the company, and you remember what happened in 1929. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. Of course, it was just as hard on all of us, you know, the little and the big. We all shared and shared alike, but that's all water under the bridge. Goodbye and good luck. And as a parting thought, I want you to know that this is hurting me much more than it is you, Harold. Much more. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Don't let it get you down. Thank you. It was football. Huh? It was football I used to play. Mm.